Today, let us consider what the universe is made up of. Whether they be particles of energy or matter. Picture in your mind what the smallest element must look like. Perhaps it is ball shaped, or bare, or flat. Because it exists, it must have volume, and weight. Can it become smaller or larger? No. That would indicate there are yet smaller particles inside of it that are separating or getting closer together. Well then, can it move? No. That would indicate something inside of it is propelling it. But it is the smallest. However, let us assume that somehow two of these smallest particles did move toward each other and touched. Did the whole of each particle get completely and simultaneously touched? No. The edges of each particle that made the contact would have touched first. Then, the rest of the particle that did not get touched must have been made of something else, but that is impossible. We are already reviewing the smallest particle. Thus, if the particle does get touched by another smallest particle, then all of it must somehow get touched simultaneously. The backside, all of the outside and inside of it, the top of it, the bottom, the front side, all at once. That is not possible. Correct. Therefore, there can be no such thing as smallest particles of the universe. If there were, they could not do anything, propel themselves, shrink, expand, or move. Or be completely touched by another smallest particle all at once at exactly the same instance. That means we in the universe do not exist in a material world. Yes. The only conclusion left then is that because we do exist, we are a part of something that mortal minds cannot comprehend at this time. We and everything in the universe are composed of something intelligent, capable of action. Intelligence 